Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that thought I was going to motion the court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the judge was going to tell me I was crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you made agreements on undocumented court hearings. Right. Mm -hmm. That my wife got custody of my sons and I agreed to pay child support. Yes. Mm -hmm. and then there's the possibility that I made other agreements. Um, maybe I made an agreement that I would never speak to my wife or kids ever again. <laughs> that I didn't want my sons. Yes. That somebody. Yes. Had made agreements at undocumented court hearings. Yes. Or quite possibly the the conference setting hearing wasn't in court. No. And the individuals that were there. Mm -hmm. Was Mike Van Proyen there? <laughs> and had to explain how he had to ask me to leave the property on the 20th of December. Yes. But he didn't mention that the hot water heater didn't work for that 10 days. No. Uh, from the 10th of December to the 20th. No. He didn't mention that he turned the electricity off on me in the middle of winter. Hmm. Now, I'm going to want to know who was at that undocumented court hearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe the police chief was there. <laughs> Bill Dixon. Mm -hmm. You know, while sitting in a Starbucks. Yes. Talking to a good friend of mine, Tom Bryant. Mm -hmm. The chief of police sat right next to me and heard me say on the phone that I was going to sue this county for $5 million. <laughs> so let's see. Oh. Uh, does Bill Dixon know anything? Hmm. Terry Gallagher? Mm. Joe Hall? Mm. Bill Benedict? Ooch. Brian Smith? Pooh. Cherie Crane? Mm. See, there's what's known as false representation. Yes. Uh huh. In criminal law, uh, property is obtained by false pretenses. Oh. Uh -huh. When the acquisition results from the intentional misrepresenting of a past or existing fact. Yes. Now, uh, this property that I was going to pay called child support? Yes. And the property that I was going to agree to at some future date? Yes. And the whole idea of me giving power of attorney to my Uncle Wayne? Yep. Or supposedly I signed a power of attorney without my knowledge? Yes. You know, there could be lots of documents that I don't know of. Yes. That I should know about right now. Now, uh, I never signed a power of attorney. No. Mm -mm. I never signed a will. No. I did tell, yes, on the telephone in a personal conversation, mm -hmm. sitting next to the chief of police of Squim, mm -hmm. that at that time I was going to sue this county for $5 million, yes, for the false arrest mm -hmm. and the false accusation of violating the restraint provisions ouch, of the protection order that was issued in 2011. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be that some police chiefs, mm -hmm. do you have an ex-wife? Ouch! Do you have an ex-wife? I'm going to want to know them. <laughs> I'm going to want to know your ex-husband. <laughs> I'm going to want a copy of your disillusion of marriage. Yes! And I'm going to want to know what was settled during the settlement conference setting hearing. <clears throat> we agreed to the community property. Now it's good.